Spiny dogfish sharks and hammerhead sharks. Use of sharks. People killing sharks to make fin soup was introduced by Chinese nobles and emperors. To make the dish, cartilage from fin is dried and prepared. Shark fins are one of the most expensive seafood products. In the United States, shark fin costs $400 per kilogram. This is one of the most popular ways sharks are used, but they are also used for medicines. Shark cartilage can be taken from a spiny dogfish shark and hammerhead sharks. It is then converted into a powder or liquid, which you could buy as a food or a dietary supplement. Shark medicines. Many people claim that shark cartilage extracts a cure for cancer. There, has, there have been many negative outcomes for this, such as the dramatic decline in the shark population. The lack of cancer in sharks is used as a justification for its killing. Since people think that the consumption of cartilage can cure cancer, this illustrates that there is serious potential acts of POC. Even if shark cartilage does work as a cancer treatment, it puts sharks and other organisms in danger for extinction. Head sharks. The great hammerhead sharks has a unique modification in its immunity gene, which is the reason for its rapid healing and its high resistance for cancers. Sharks and rays have been studied and are well known to be wound healing. They are suspected to show a great resistance to cancers. Some researchers found something about the two shark immunity gene that stood out. Both the genes had counterparts in humans. Studies show that they have anti-tumor properties. It is important to understand that consuming parts of shark will not cure or prevent cancer. Eating them may cause damage to one's body due to the high level of mercury sharks have. Spiny dogfish shark. Three previously unknown cases of shark, sharks presenting with tumors, including two spiny dogfish sharks. The spiny dogfish shark case cases were received as formerly fixed tissue specimens that incorporated the tumor's masses. The masses were described and photographed as gross specimens. The tissues were then processed, embedded, microtone, and stained according to routine for the preparation of microscopic slides.